Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here with our third example video for integration by parts. This particular one uh, we talked about in our how to choose U and V in our Lipit video. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that real quick again. So I have x times inverse tan of x. If I look at x, that's a polynomial. And if I look at inverse tangent, that's certainly an inverse function, of course. So I have a p and I have an i from my Lipit i comes before p, so I will choose i to be u. In other words, I will choose this inverse tangent of x to be u. And the other thing will be dv. And let's go ahead and write that down. So u is going to be inverse tangent of x in this case. And dv is going to be the x dx. Since we have u as inverse tangent of x, then we'll need du, which is the derivative of that, which will be 1 over 1 plus x squared dx, and then we'll need the antiderivative of dv, and power rule will just give us 1 half x squared from that. So we go ahead and use our uv minus integral v du formula to do this integral by parts. So u times v, I have a 1 half, I also have an x squared and I have an inverse tangent of x. So that's the first part, u times v, minus the integral of v du. So I have a 1 half that I might put out front of the integral. And then I have x squared times 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. So I have an x squared on top. And I have a 1 plus x squared on the bottom. And if you've looked at one of our recent videos, you might notice, okay, well, how do I do this? Um, it turns out that you might be able to use some sort of a long division on this one. Uh, so you could go ahead and do that. If we do some division with that real quick, go ahead and scroll down and do it. So I have x squared, and I want to divide that by x squared plus 1. So remember, we take the lead term times what gives us the lead term? The answer is 1. Uh, 1 times x squared is x squared, and 1 times 1 is 1. And we change the signs, and we go ahead and just get negative 1 as a remainder, so we'll get the answer is 1 minus 1 over this x squared plus 1. So really, I can think of this integral in terms of that new notation. So I'll go ahead and write down what we already had. 1 half x squared inverse tan of x minus 1 half, and then this integral will actually become the integral of this stuff here. So that's going to be 1 minus 1 over, I'll write it as 1 plus x squared again, that's how we had it before, dx. Okay, so we go ahead and do this. Notice that the 1 half is out front, so I'll have a 1 half x squared inverse tan of x uh, will have negative one half. The antiderivative of one would just be x, so that's negative one half x. And then here I have negative half. Uh, if I distribute that in negative, I would have plus a half. And then I would have the antiderivative of this, which would be inverse tan of x plus c. There are a lot of factoring things you could do as far as pulling out a one-half or maybe combining your inverse tangent terms and factoring some stuff out there. We'll just go ahead and leave it that way. We'll leave it up to you to decide how you want to actually write the end answer. Okay, check out our next video. We have one more example for integration by parts. We'll see you then.